Hi, this is JB from Now the Lights Over Arkham. This is another episode of the Eye of Chaos series where we take a random investigator and build a chaos deck for that investigator. Then we play the Midnight Mask scenario and try to do the best we can. So, uh, let's see which investigator is our uh, unlucky investigator this time. So, I have all of my remaining uh, investigator tokens in the back, so let's see which one we get. Hoping to get a new class. We have seen survivors, uh, mystics and one seeker, so let's see what we get this time. So, uh, we get Mark Harrigan, which is a guardian, so something new. So, we will be building a deck for Mark. So, uh, I actually like Mark in True Solo really much when you can build the deck, but uh, let's see what kind of deck we can build uh, or get for the Chaos Magic. So, let's hop over to ArkhamDB.com and see what we get. Okay, so we are over on ArkhamDB.com, so we will pick Mark Harrigan. Where is Mark? There he is. So, uh, let's see. We are, of course, using the whole uh, carpool so far, so the Edge of the Earth cars are also included. So we'll just push the chaos button and see what we get. So here goes. Okay, so uh, first off, let's see. We'll, we had uh, we got some <laughs> some weapons. So we have the uh, one copy of the thirty-two Colt, which is a good weapon for Mark, uh, honestly, uh, because it has six ammo and Mark has five combat so we don't need the combat boost uh, the book of psalms is uh, pretty useless we probably won't be adding uh, any tokens but uh, of course this is a horror healing asset so if we are running ra uh, running uh, out of um, sanity this might be useful uh, then we have two copies of Trench Knight, and Trench Knight is not really good in uh, solo gaming, and it also doesn't give you a combat boost, uh, or, or the damage boost, rather. It gives you a combat boost of X, where X is the number of enemies engaged with you, so I'm uh, not really liking this, but it, it is better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, we have two copies of Bless Ward, <laughs> so uh, at least we have some kind of uh, damage mi mitigation going on. Uh, then, <laughs> Bandolier, not seeing it as useful. Uh, two copies of Heavy Furs, so this is a newer card. So Heavy Furs uh, gives you some uh, mitigation against the auto fail. So I think that could be good, and it also gives you health soak. Then we have Tetsu Amori, which is a good ally for Guardians. Uh, you can uh, get some um, assets you need by defeating Tetsu Amori. Uh, then we have First Aid. Mm, okay, damage healing. Something worth fighting for. Some uh, horror soak. Really decent. Uh, we have <laughs> one copy of Theramus. Uh, not that interesting. We have one copy of True Grit, so more health uh, soak. We have a lot of soak in this deck, but not really good ways to uh, investigate yet. Mark only has an intellect of two, but let, let's see what the events bring. So we have I'll see you in hell, so if we get frustrated we can just defeat ourselves. Not really good. Act of Desperation. So. Uh, if you're wondering why we have these uh, survival cards, uh, Mark can take tactic cards of any uh, class. So we, we, we have the survival tactic. So this is an okay card if we want to jug a book of psalms uh, towards an enemy or something like that. Mm, Coop the Grace is another tactic, not really good, but it, it has good icons. 
I suppose. Uh, we have dodge, which will uh, be useful when we get engaged by some big enemy that we can't defeat that at that moment. Mm. Well, uh, at least two copies of evidence, so this helps us get s at least some clues. Uh, but we really need to get some uh, enemies to use evidence. But it has also good icons. Uh, hiding spot, not that useful maybe, but we'll see. Uh, on the hunt, synergizes with the evidence, so we can uh, search for an enemy, defeat it, and use evidence to get the clue. And Luckily, at least one copy of Scene of the Crime, which is a real staple for True Solo Guardians. You really need to have this so you can get some clues without any um, hoops to jump over. Uh, shortcuts is a really good tactic for Mark, liking that one. Uh, stand together, it's a multiplayer card, so useless, only good for the icons. Uh, Tempate, mm, not that good. So the toe, no, <laughs> not interested in that. Warning shot, no. We want to kill, we don't want to... Well, it, it could be uh, useful in some minor case. Uh, desperate search, this is actually really good for Mark, because we are low on sanity, so if we only lose two uh, sanity, we can use uh, desperate search. Uh, overpower, Okay, well, it's a good card for Mark to cycle your deck. Uh, then uh, that is the deck, so let's see what uh, random weakness we get. So, Chronophobia. So, this is a horrible um, weakness for Mark because it taxes your sanity. So we, if we draw this, we need to get rid of it as soon as possible, so we don't get defeated by horror that easily. But yeah, that is the deck, so uh, next up I will uh, build the deck, so we can start uh, playing and see how Mark does in the Midnight Mass scenario. I have not played a uh, guardian yet, so I'm really interested in seeing how Mark does. So I'll build the deck and let's get started. Okay, so we have built the deck for Mark and we just need to get some resources and we can start going. So I pre-shuffled all the decks, so the Ghoul Priest is again in the encounter deck and we are playing on standard difficulty. Let's draw our opening hand of five cards, hoping to see a weapon possibly. We get heavy first in the home front, something worth fighting for, warning shot and evidence. So I'm keeping the evidence, I'm keeping the heavy first. I'm uh, ditching the rest. Yeah, so we draw three cards. Hiding spot. I'll see you in hell and act of desperation. So, not a great start anyway, but we'll see what we can do. At least Mark has the ability to uh, take a damage with Sophie and get a plus two to its uh, skill check and when Mark takes damage he also draws a card so we are bound to draw into some of the better cards here so that is why Mark is a pretty decent uh, true solo investigator so first action I will play the heavy purse so uh, we'll pay two second action I will Take a damage on heavy first, we draw a card, uh, stand together, and we'll uh, investigate your house. So, four versus two. Well, out of fail. But uh, after you reveal a non. Uh, yeah, it's not against out of fail, unfortunately. Anything else would have been good. So, uh, last action, we'll just try to investigate again. We'll take a damage on Mark. 
So forward to Elder Sign, it is plus one for each damage on Mark Harrigan, so it is a plus one. So we'll grab this clue, and that is our turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, plus four, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a threat. And the first encounter card is Hunting Shadow. Well, I'll uh, take two, two damage. So I'll take damage, I'll draw a card, and the heavy furs are gone. So uh, we don't want to have too many damage on Mark because then Sophie will flip and we lose the ability to use Sophie to boost our investigation. Uh, investigation checks, so that is why. Well, uh, we probably want to play the Flesh Ward. So, mm, yeah, I'll play the Flesh Ward. That is another damage soak and also a way to. Ignore damage and horror, which is pretty good for Mark, but we'll see. Never actually got that card to do anything interesting before, but we'll see. Uh, we'll move to River Town. And last action, we'll investigate River Town. So, uh, River Town is a one shot location. I think we are not boosting here, so just checking, we don't, we only have the evidence, I'm keeping the evidence uh, for the moment. So, investigating two versus one. It is a zero, so we'll grab the clue from here, and that is our turn, no enemies. We'll go to upkeep, so we draw a card, so to toe, it is a decent card. Uh, because we don't have a weapon yet, so, and we get a resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Uh, two of six encounter card is Crypt Chill. Well, Mark has a three uh, willpower. We probably want to. Well, uh, just. Should I just let it go? The plus ward is not great. So I'm actually actually thinking should I just let it go? Not that great of an idea. Okay, uh, let's do a little gamble because we don't want to get rid of the flesh board yet. I'll commit the stand together to this test. I'll also take one damage on Mark from Sophie. We draw a card. We find the cult, which is really good. We can uh, get a weapon done. So I'm uh, testing uh, six versus four. And it is a plus one, so we are able to pass this test. Uh, first action. I'll take a resource. Second action, I'll play the Colt. Comes into play with 6 ammo. Then, uh, last action, we'll use the clues to spawn a cultist. And these are shuffled, so the cultist we get is uh, Victoria Devro. So I think we're just going to go and you know, shoot Victoria a couple of times because we really are starving for resources at the moment. And that was the whole investigation phase. So Victoria spawns in north side and Victoria reads uh, for north side. Action spent five resources. Parley at Victoria Devro to the Victoria display. So I think we're just going to go and shoot her. 
So no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, thermos, and we gain one resource. So uh, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add another doom, encounter card for this turn is on wings of darkness, so uh, test agility 4 and uh, we take damage and horror if we fail, so I think we'll try to not take the damage, so I'm committing the hunt, uh, hiding spot and let's commit, I think that is enough. So. Uh, we are testing 5 versus 4, minus 3, we fail, uh, we'll take 1 damage and 1 horror, but when you would be dealt damage and or horror from an enemy attack, okay, this is not an enemy attack, so we can't actually uh, uh, ignore that, that is a bummer, so we take a damage and a horror, but we'll draw a card, so we get another evidence. This is not going that well. Mark is taking too much damage, but uh, we're still managing it, I think. So we'll go to the investigation phase. We move twice, so we uh, go to Miskatan University and go to north side and engage Victoria Debro. Let's put some clues here where we just went. And uh, last action, we will. Uh, just shoot once. So I'm uh, shooting five versus three. Do we have any good cars to commit here? No. Well, I'm, I'm committing the. I'll, I see you in hell because why not? I'm not gonna lose it. It's a skull, it's a minus zero, so we hit, we deal two damage. That is our investigation phase. We'll go to the enemy phase, so Victoria attacks, so I will uh, spend one charge from Bless Ward to ignore that damage because it is an enemy attack, so that is that. Upkeep, we draw a card, cook the grace, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. Encounter card for this turn is uh, Haunting Shadow. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we'll have to take two damage, so unfortunately, we take one here. We draw a card, and Sophie unfortunately flips, and we have to take the other on Flesh Ward. So I'm actually taking the first damage on Flesh Ward to get the card, then on Mark. So, we unfortunately lose the flesh board, nothing we can do about that. Uh, first action... I think we... Uh, we will just... Uh, attack... by punching, and I will use the act of desperation to boost my attack, so... I am uh, fighting 4 versus 3, so plus 2, so 6 versus 3. So now Sophie gives us minus 1 to its skill, that's not good. It's a minus 1, so we still hit, we deal that 1 da damage needed to defeat uh, Victoria Devro. And then we put Victoria into the victory display. I will uh, play Evidence, grab a clue from here. I will play also the other evidence and grab the other clue. So evidence is coming into really good use here. And we also get the clear the victory point location. So I'll immediately use the clues to spawn another cultist. This Herman Collins, so Herman spawns in the graveyard. I think we will head there next. So Herman is there. And uh, last action, we'll move uh, 
uh, here. I think we should go to Mar St. Mary's Hospital to heal so we uh, get Sophie back. But that is our uh, investigation phase, no enemy actions. Uh, we'll go to upkeep, uh, we draw a card, bandolier, gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5 of 6 doom. Encounter card for this turn is Mysterious Chanting. So we add 2 doom on Herman Collins. That is a okay because we are advancing next turn either way. So this doesn't luckily advance the act or the act agenda. So that is the meters phase done. Uh, investigation phase will move to St. Mary's Hospital. Action heal 3 damage, limit once per game. So there is one clue here. So second action will uh, heal 3 damage. So Sophie flips back. And uh, I think we could just try to investigate here. So I'm uh, investigating and uh, can't commit the desperate search unfortunately, but will you Sophie? So I'm investigating 4 versus 2. Plus 1. We grab this clue and that is our turn. No enemy actions. We upkeep, we draw a card, tempt fate, and gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we advance the ag agenda, so the mass hunter spawns on us. Luckily Mark is more than capable of fighting that uh, cultist, so we could just try to defeat the mass hunter. So we are, uh, are facing a 4 fight. Uh, 6 health and 2 evade humanoid cultist elite and uh, it spawns on us and we can't uh, discover or spend clues while we're engaged with the mass hunter and it is worth 2 victory points so pretty sure we'll try to just shoot the mass hunter down so first action we are using the 32 cult and I am spending uh, the grass for it, so we are fighting uh, 5, 6, 7 versus 4. Elder sign, which is a plus 3, so we hit, deal 2 uh, damage. Second action, we'll do, uh, we'll shoot again. This time I will uh, commit. French knife So we are uh, 6 versus 4 minus 1 2 more damage and last action we will shoot again committing uh, temp fate so again 6 versus 4 It is a skull. Skulls are minus two because there are two. Uh, actually, it's a zero because I forgot to remove these. So we are able to defeat the mask hunter. So mask hunter goes into the victory display. So that is really good. Uh, no more actions left. So we'll go to enemy phase. Nothing happens. Upkeep. We draw a card. True greed, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Just a small hiccup from last turn. We actually were so eager to kill off the mass hunter, I forgot to draw the encounter card, so we'll do that now. Hopefully it won't reset our last turn. Okay, so Acolyte, so it just comes into play. I think we're just gonna uh, put it somewhere here, punch it and kill it off. So we'll put it here. Uh, then uh, we'll go to the uh, this turn's middle space. So we'll add a doom. And the encounter card for this turn is another wizard uh, or the wizard of the order. 
so it comes into play in an empty location. I think we are just traveling towards Herman Collins and killing these cultists off one by one while we move. So I'll put it in the next location. So to the river town. So that is the mythos phase. We'll go to the uh, investigation phase. So first action we'll move to south side. And uh, south side is uh, draw three cards. Uh, I think we just ignore that we are not, we don't have time for that so or actually uh, no no we don't need any more cards so second action I will just punch uh, yeah I will just punch this how this so five versus three and it is a skull skull is a minus one so so uh, this guy is dead. And uh, last action. I'll actually play the troop read now that I still don't want to move uh, to the river town. I'll do that next turn. So we'll play troop read. And uh, yeah, this yeah, should have been discarded already. That is our turn. No enemy actions. We've got to upkeep. So a card, we dodge, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom to the agenda. Encounter card for this turn is a uh, crypt chill. Mm, I'll actually take a damage, draw a card, and uh, I'll use ther thermos to boost uh, my willpower by one. So I am uh, five, six versus four. It is uh, minus one, so we pass. And uh, then this guy gets a doom. First action will move here. This guy engages us. Second action will uh, shoot the colt at it. Uh, we are fighting uh, 5 versus 4, so we'll use the warning shot. Yeah, we'll use the warning shot. So, 6 versus 4. Actually, let's. Uh, yeah, let's. And so, so, so 7 versus 4, so minus 3s are already be dead. 7 versus 4. It's a minus 2, place 1 doom on the nearest coldest enemy. So we'll place it on this guy, but it is dead, so that is okay. We only have one bullet, but I think we will just defeat Herman Collins by discarding cards. Uh, last action. I think I will. What should I do for my last action? Hmm. I have no idea. I take a resource. Okay. So, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, first aid, and we gain one resource. Uh, that is that turn. Uh, these are committed here. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom. Encounter card for this turn is. Mysterious Chanting. Okay, I'll take it because we are gonna the Herman Collins, by the way. First action, we'll move into the graveyard. Herman Collins engages us. One shot, two clues. And uh, we have to take a willpower test or take horror. So I'm, I'm not committing anything. I'll just uh, take one damage on through grid, draw card. Hypochondria, <laughs> that is uh, nasty. Mm, well, uh, 
we are testing uh, five versus three. And it is an auto fail. That is really bad. Mm, we have to take two horror. Because we don't want to move out of the graveyard. Uh, second action, we are discarding four cards to defeat Herman Collins. Herman Collins goes to the victory display. Last action. Let's just investigate. So I'm uh, just investigating uh, two versus. I'll investigate two versus one. Elder sign plus three, so we'll grab one clue. And that is our turn. So no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, flesh ward, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, and at the end of your turn, take one uh, direct horror. So you are one away from going to horror, so we need to remove that next turn, or we have to resign or something. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we had a Doom, 4 of 8, encounter card. So this turn is, it is an Acolyte, so I'll spawn it. Uh, in here, near us, so we can defeat it if needed. Then, first two actions will get rid of this. Last action will investigate, and I'll just remove the true crit and get plus two. So I'm investigating four versus one, and we draw a card. Book of Psalms. So it's a uh, minus two, place one doom. Okay, so this call this a two doom on it, but we'll grab the clue. And that is our turn. And no enemy actions will go to upkeep, we draw a card, overpower, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we are at seven doom of eight. Encounter card is obscuring fog. So thank god we dodged a bullet there. So it goes onto the graveyard, nothing happens. Uh, first action will spawn an enemy. Uh, enemy here or, or somewhere. Let's see what we get. It is Fruit Turner, so we could defeat Fruit uh, next turn. So I, I have to actually count. So we have to defeat the Cultist now, so that we buy ourselves two more turns, so we have a chance to defeat Fruit. Okay, uh, so second action I'll move to River Town. This guy engages us. I'll, uh, last action I'll fight using overpower, so committing overpower to the test, so 7 vs 3, just punching this guy. It is a plus 1, so this guy is defeated, and uh, we buy ourselves some more time, we draw a card from the overpower, which is the home front, okay. And uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep, we draw a card on the hunt, and we gain one resource. So uh, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We had a Doom, 6 of 8 encounter card is. Uh, hunting Shadow, so you must either spend one clue or take two damage. I will spend the clue. We are not spawning any more uh, cultists, unfortunately. Uh, that is that. So, first two actions, we will move to Mr. Miskatonic University and to the St. Mary's Hospital. So, Wood Turner will engage us. Just mark root here. Last action will be to evade root. So, I am uh, evading uh, four, 3 versus 5. Uh, 7 versus 5, we draw a card. And. Uh, Then I'll take another damage, but uh, this is uh, the card draw is only one square face, so we can't draw more cards. So I'm uh, 
when I take the damage, I'll get the plus two, but then this flip, so I'll get go to um, minus one. So I'm six versus five. So let's see how how this goes. And it's a minus one. So uh, Mark is able to defeat Lord Turner. So four cult is defeated. This is turning out to be a really good run. And that is our turn done. Uh, we'll go to upkeep. Uh, we draw a card. That's a Mori. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. And I think we're uh, happy to resign next turn. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 7 of 8 Doom, so this is definitely the last turn. The counter card is Cool Priest, so no problem to us because the Cool Priest spawns at your house. So we are first action. Well, uh, let's do this. So I'll play Tetsu Amori. I'll play something worth fighting for. So we are not even close to getting defeated, and the last action we will resolve. So that was actually a pretty good run. I think the best run I've had in the IFK series. So uh, let's round up the victory points. So we got the graveyard and the north side. So two victory points from the table. Then we have a root turner, uh, Herman Collins, Victoria Debro, and the mass hunter. So five. So seven victory points in total. So a pretty solid run. We only had two more cultists left, so uh, I think uh, these were the worst ones. Well, uh, Wolfman Drew is not that bad for Mark, but Peter Warren is because we need to spend clues to defeat him or fight. Well, maybe maybe Mark is a, a, able to beat all of them easily with fighting but it takes some time so yeah but hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time